This episode is brought to you by Zazzle.com. Custom t-shirts, personalized gifts, posters, and more. Use our code EveryDrink11 and save 10% off orders $50 or more. Welcome to Sunday Night Shooters. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. This one's probably going to take a little bit. What we're creating is what's known as the nuclear rainbow. This recipe was submitted by JP, and JP wants to kill me. So what he's doing is he's creating all these liquors. One, two, well, grenadine is not really a liquor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six alcohols, one shot glass, which is currently chilling. How about we're going to lay Five alcohols and one anti-alcohol Sugar. shooter, or chaser, if you will, because it's the bottom. Matt, this is a practice of what's known as absolute gravity, or weight, if you will. And we had somebody write in saying, look, I created your red, white, and blue shooter, which, by the way, is awesome. I use my avatar everywhere. It just looks really cool. It's very defined. Unless you replace the peach schnapps with vodka. Vodka doesn't weigh the same as peach schnapps, so the blue curacao was falling into the vodka and it was making a mess because they don't layer because one's about the same weight, so they fall together. But you could do probably any other Anything liqueur. Anything that was clear that had that weight. And so some, it was probably a liqueur. Yeah, and so, yeah, because there's more, more sugar. Right. Uh, but not all of them are equal. So the Kuipers might be a little weightier, less weighty than another brand. So there's gravity charts. If you Google for like uh, alcohol density charts, density charts, absolute gravity charts, alcohol, vodka, whatever the key you're looking for, you should find some charts out there. They're really handy. Uh, or you find somebody who already has created the recipe, already knows the order, and the order is what you see. Grenadine, peppermint schnapps, Jägermeister, melon liqueur, in this case Midori, whiskey, amaretto. Now, they don't always line up the same when they fall in, but as long as it looks good and it works, um, I thought I had a paper towel here. So I believe in this, I did test this. You probably saw the shot if you watched this week's shows. And that was my prototype to make sure it was going to layer correctly. And it worked. So I'm going to try it again. And this one's easy. And people are like, wow, you're so good at layering. No, I suck at layering. It's just as e anybody could do what I do. It's all about using a spoon. Shift these down so you can see the action in progress. Just use a spoon. Put it next to the liquid at the bottom. And slowly pour it over the back of the spoon. It's not I necessarily say you suck because your layers usually come out. Yeah. Now it also depends on how much caffeine you've had that day. Like if you're really shaky, or maybe you just mowed the lawn. There's all kinds of reasons why your layers may come out not so good. You've had too much to drink. Probably more than likely the fact when you're doing silly stuff like this. Now it would be cool to do these for. Say, see, the perfect layer. This would be cool to do for a party, except for the fact that it would take forever to make your drinks for everybody. So unless you have friends that want to sit down. ahead of time. You know how long it's going to take. Stick them in the things? fridge and then bring them out on a platter. <laughs> True. Depending on how many friends. Four friends? Sure. Eight? You're going to do this eight times? No. I'm not even going to do it four times. <laughs> You're going to have me do it? I'm only going to have one friend. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you Come limit over. your friends. Come over at the party. If you limit your friend count, this is never a problem. Screw yeah. it. I'm not going to have any friends. And I also don't pour it very quickly either. This might be the one that sinks below. Yeah, friends are really overrated. <laughs> when you have to do layered shots for them, they are. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like it that much. Look, you want a layer shot? Get your ass over here and make it. That's what I say. We'll provide the alcohol. That's good enough. You know what? Most people would be like, okay, so what? You want me to make a layer and with your alcohol? Yeah, I could do that. There you go. Those are my kind of friends. <laughs> <laughs> your kind of friends are the ones that you serve alcohol and they do all the work. Yes. But you do know that most people don't have as much alcohol as we do. Yes. That doesn't concern you. People, we can invite all our friends over, and we still wouldn't make a dent in our alcohol. <laughs> what if we brought all of our friends over to make these drinks for another group of friends? Wouldn't matter. They could be like our little friend slaves. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, so let's see. You have a zoomer? Um, I will. Oh, 
it's foggy. I didn't think of that problem. You were talking. Not paying attention. So, let me know if it's too foggy. A lot of layers foggy. there. Yeah. Crap ton of layers. Can you see it's it? Kind of cool, though. I can see it from here. So, you've got the grenadine on the bottom. You've got Midori. Now, you might notice the peppermint schnapps went in second. And then there's Jaeger. <laughs> it all got pushed up. The Midori fell through it. Now, why would you not just put the Midori in first? I don't really know, but I know that it works this way for some reason. It sinks under it. So some of them, although they went in a different order, sink correctly. And the top is a lighter shade, which is their Amaretto with the, the what I think must be, yeah, the, sh the, the whiskey fell in the middle. And the, the Jaeger has floated to the top. It's just weird the way densities work, but it works. Does it's it, all sciencey and stuff. It's all science. It's the same. You do the same thing for like beer, or if you do a black and tan. Bass on the bottom, Guinness on the top. It's an awesome drink, by the way. Um, I don't know how it's gonna taste. You've had one. You had a right. prototype. So well, I had a. Yeah, you didn't. Make, I had a problem. You had a technicality where you couldn't finish the whole thing at once because you slipped in your hand or something. You didn't want to. No, uh, the thing didn't hit my mouth right <laughs> I had like a hole in my mouth huh. so if i didn't stop drinking it was gonna end up all on me i have a hole right there all right yeah, put that in your hole <laughs> all right here we go <laughs> <laughs> oh wait it smells like whiskey but this i'm right on the top no matter mm, that tastes really good You don't get half the stuff you put in there. It's really just for effect. Get it a lot tastes of like Midori because it's at the end. I mean, uh, no, sorry, grenadine. Grenadine, yeah. I don't know. Grenadine, it's Midori. peppermint schnapps for days. Yes. I don't get any Jaeger. I get it. I actually get a coating of oaky, the makers, the sweetness of the makers mark. If you've had enough whiskey, um, not all necessarily at once, but if you had it over time, you could you could pick that out. I don't get the amaretto. Midori, I'm not really getting either, which is very strikingly weird. And the Jaeger, the herbal nature of the Jaeger is missing. So, I don't know. It, it's working. It's tasty. It's well worth the time if you're there to impress friends. Do it before drinking, before too much caffeine. So, there's your 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 schooling on uh, gravities, weights, and layering. That's also called the Poos Cafe shot. Uh, check us out on everydaydrinkers.tv. We're teaching you how to drink.